Hello, my name is Ben, and I am not a great gamer. Welcome back to the Serene Republic of Venice, here in Stellaris, in which uh, I just reread the rules for how you win the game. And I would like to win the game. Winning the game sounds like fun. It sounds like a thing I'd like to do. We ne I never win anymore. And we're gonna win. I'm a winner. No, what? Anyway, um, and it turns out there are two ways to win. And I, I was a little bit leery on, on I was a little bit off on one of the, the details. So one way to win is that you and your federation are the only entities standing. And that doesn't sound very Venetian to me. It's just, no, it's not very Venetian. Um, now, maybe it means that we pull a bunch of folks in. I don't know, but I don't know. It just doesn't seem right. It just doesn't seem right. The other way to win is that you, and not your federation, like, it has to be you, like you yourself, have 40% uh, of the galaxy's habitable worlds. Uh, you, you, you possess 40%. That's, that's the way you win. Uh, and I didn't realize that it wasn't... That it didn't include your your uh, your federation, so we're gonna have to figure out how to do this. And I think the way is gonna be this. Uh, for one thing, we're gonna have to settle as much of the galaxy as we possibly can. And this whole area over here, this has to happen. We need to lock up as much of this as we can at habitation. Um, a lot of this doesn't have any uh, habitable stuff. Oh, Gethra, no one's done anything here. I just realized that. Uh, do we have any? boats nearby. Science ship. You? No? Oh yeah, okay. This one. Okay. So we want to lock up a bunch of this territory as much as we can um, in settlement and then also within our borders just to hopefully get to, to block any of anybody, including our allies, uh, from, from settling that. Because we want we want basically all of this, this crossroads nebula. Um, I would like... Yeah, this one would be cool. There are th three worlds we could potentially pick up, and some uh, Granthium ore. This area over here, I want to I want to lock up. And so I was originally not originally, but um, recently I've been sort of resisting sending out my my colony ships too much, just because like I want to have I I didn't want to just bust up my science too bad. But now that I realize that. Uh, in order to actually win at all, I need to do that. Um, it looks like <laughs> I'm going to have to spam the science boats. The other thing to do is to take on... Well, we can get uh, habited, inhabited planets uh, from other people. And that's pretty cool. And then once we get a bunch of ter... By the way, once we get a bunch of territory, there are going to be a lot of uninhabited planets still, and we can sort of fill those in. But mostly just locking up territory for ourselves is what we're going to try to do. But uh, yeah, once we lock up a bunch of territory, we're gonna go after uh, we're gonna go after Castile, and then we're gonna go after the Aztecs. Don't ask me what I'm thinking, but we're gonna go after the Aztecs eventually. Um, Castile has an inferior fleet, so there's that. So we'll probably go after them the moment the uh, uh, presidency changes, and I think actually that I'm last because the Iroquois consciousness is right here. And then it says, this says, uh, the next president is the Big Blue Blob, and then Teutonic Order, and then the Serene Republic of Venice. I think, I think it's gonna be a while before we're president and can actually declare wars, which, eh, it's kinda sad. Uh, but what can you do? Which means maybe we declare a couple of different wars. Except you are also part of the Ottomans. Hmm. So what I'm thinking about doing is declaring on Castile the next time, and also declaring on the Papal States, because... Quite frankly, I just want them to stop being at war with the British Republic. I just want the British Republic to be, you know... <laughs> oh, man. Unfortunately, we can't invite them into our alliance, but they may decide to join our uh, our federation uh, if the Papal States ever just goes away. Um, and I don't, I don't mind taking that. I don't mind picking them up. It's desert, folks. Nice. So, yeah. yeah in a recap, uh, lock up territory over here and over here, and possibly over in here, um, find our way around, um, we'll, we'll, and then uh, fight our way this direction. And then if we pick up enough territory here and here, we can actually uh, get our ships up into this area and see what we can pick up over here. Eventually we take the Wasegi Core Worlds, Wasegi, whatever, and eventually I found this. 
the Grolferp Ascendancy. It turns out they are the Keepers of Knowledge, which means that they don't like it when you research AI techs. They're those guys. Turns out I'm researching an AI tech. I didn't realize that. Probably stuff along the lines of like research, uh, self-aware logic. It's it's a blue tech. It's fine. Oh, it's not really a blue tech. It's um, I don't remember. It's a standard tech. Um, but there you go. But the thing is, they have a um, they have a ring world. And I have to admit, this is actually the first time I've seen a ring world in my uh, in my playthroughs. And I just love how you can actually see the continents and stuff. So you have this big world, and you can see all the, it's like the energy production and like offices and whatever. Um, and then you have like continents. That's so cool. I just I want the Ring World. I want the Ring World. I'm going to have the Ring World. But I cannot have the Ring World if time does not move forward. So yeah, we have a lot of. Actually, we're not going to let time move forward. Oh, real quick. I'm not going to um, complete the, the mandate. Our current mandate is the research thing. Turns out there was a... I thought I could build a station here, and I could have. Um, but it turns out it's on this planet. The reason it disappeared is because by settling this, I get uh, the engineering research on the planet itself because of robotic remains. I'm pretty sure that's what just happened. Uh, so we are not going to have what it takes to actually complete the mandate, which is too bad. Um, oh, I just redid my ship designs. So these are the ultraviolet, yeah, the UV lasers, uh, the blue disruptors, sorry, the ion disruptors, um, the torpedoes. Oh yeah, and also I put in the uh, crystal forged plating. Uh, kinetic, I didn't do too much to. Just I, I just added crystal forge plating to basically everything, because I mean, come on, why not, right? And pretty much the same here with all the destroyers, and then PD cruiser, torpedo cruiser. Uh, yeah, I didn't do too much to that. I just think the torpedo cruiser looks good. Actually, I think the disruptor cruiser looks awesome. This isn't even the most ideal setup for this cruiser. I just like it. So I put it on. Also, I uh, I added the new engines to the construction ships. So we'll actually, to the construction ships and the, um, what are these called? What are these called? Uh, to the uh, colony ships and the science ships. So they'll all be faster which is nice, uh, so we'll upgrade these at some point. And then I did, in fact, make a defense platform. Uh, at some point, I will deploy a few of these. I made it very uh, disruptor and UV laser heavy. <clears throat> and then I didn't add the, uh, the special armor to these, so there you go. And we're going with the subspace snare. I just think it makes the most sense for our playstyle. I, I thought a lot about the shield dampening, though. That would have been pretty cool. So there's that. Uh, so now that there's that, let's upgrade our fleet. And that's going to be 566 minerals. Okay, man, what are we, like 10 minutes in and we finally just, yeah. Finally made some things happen. Now let's spend our minerals here. What are we going to do? Yes, I know that there's starvation on this planet. This, this planet's having so much trouble because it's, people just keep migrating to it. And then some of these people are going to be mining, migrating to Judeca, which I don't think there's any space on Judeca anymore. <laughs> well, at least there won't be very long. Um, what is this construction queue? Oh, that's a Frontier Clinic. Yeah, that's going to be good. Um, but yeah, we have, we, have, we have lots of stuff queued up for this place. Don't worry. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. And then, man, Lepanto. Lepanto needs work. It just needs work. How's Murano doing? Murano could use a little work. More physics? Maybe. Engineering facility. Yes. Um, oh, we can upgrade the farm. Do we want to upgrade a farm? Or for food. 
We'll stay. Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine on food. <clears throat> if anything, we might replace this farm. To be completely honest. We'll see. Well, no. We won't see. Oh, also, let's um, let's take a quick look at our, our first fleet. I think I'm going to want to build up a few more corvettes. Probably a couple of disruptor corvettes. Spaceport. Yeah. Two more disruptor corvettes. Make that, uh, make that and a, and a laser. Okay. Yeah, that, that ate through our, uh, our minerals pretty good. Murano? Oh, you're building stuff good. Venezia? Let's build something on, on our capital, because I hear, like, our capital is pretty good. Let's have a power plant. Two. Excellent. Physics lab, two. Bio lab, two. Bio lab, two. Oh, yeah. That's good. That's a good capital world. Yeah. That's a good capital world. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay. And then as soon as we have the stuff for it, we are going to... Oh, yeah. How's Corfu doing? We are going to start building um, colony ships. Because... Seriously, colony ships. No, seriously. Yeah, spaceport. Okay, you're upgrading the fleet, and then we'll start going on the colony ships. It'll be great. It'll be grand. It'll be wonderful. Our current... That's right. Our current dude... Actually, she's a dudette, evidently. Uh, Nicolo Anifesto gives building cost minus 15, so we're going to take a lot of advantage of that. Let's speed up time. Treat you deal with the Hanselier Nation System just survey away. complete. Okay. Hang on. Lord Spain, what do you got? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> You're just a black hole with some pieces of rock nearby. What is this? What the? Hang on. That's interesting. It's like a hole. There's a hole in this, um, in this barren world. What? That's awesome. I never noticed that before. Let's actually get you to upgrade. Same with the construction ship. Why are you going over there? You can upgrade here, too. In fact, that's what you're going to do. That's silly. Move here, but then actually upgrade fleet to latest designs. Thank you. Construction ship. Actually, all the construction ships. Oh, this one, too. Yeah, uh... Go here. Upgrade fleet to latest designs. Thank you. You construction ship. Can you upgrade here? Yes, you can. Okay. We're going to start upgrading our, our construction ships. And a couple of our science ships. Okay. All right. Oh. And we can immediately now pick up a colony ship. Uh, where are we going to do that? So, oh yeah, what's the first place we're going to colonize? Uh, let's go for the biggest ones. Okay, it's going to be this one. So for instance, I'm going to pick up this one, this one, and this one, and that'll actually lock up this ocean world as well, and that'll be nice. Ooh, and an arctic world there. Oh, just, we just need to spam them. Just need to spam. Anything special about this? No. Okay, good. Dur, you're gonna be the next. You're gonna be our next thing. Do we want to settle from Venezia? I think we do. Build colony ship, and we only have one type of uh, person there, so naturally. Uh, we're going upgraded. to be... Construction complete. There's only one kind of uh, ship we can build. And these guys are fully upgraded. Oh, nice. How, uh, Ships upgraded. how big are they? 2.8k. Nice. Okay. 
construction ship. Okay. Da Vinci's good to go. Yes, we have the Zentaurus black hole in our territory. Aw, Gia. Okay. We have the Great White North pretty much locked up. It's awfully nice. And then... We're going to want to lock this up too. Ships upgraded. Construction complete. Okay. System survey complete. The lake, come on down to there. Survey system. Thank you. Oh yeah, we might want to lock up some of this too. There's an ocean world here and a continental world there. Oh, and there's a... I'm going to get Castan. Because there is a... Okay, an Arctic world? Okay. There is a... a f some folks here. They are... Get this. Oh yeah, they're talented. They're continental preference and talented. We want them on our side so bad. Just so bad. They're Bronze Age. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, we want these guys on our side. They're the what? The Julokako. Julokako. Okay. It's going to be fun saying that. So that's what we're going to use to settle our uh, our continental worlds when the time comes. So actually, let's get uh, let's get something going there. Hey, uh, Nezia. Build me another one. Another colony ship, please. We are going to be not hemorrhaging cash, but it's going to get ugly. Oh yeah, Mulbion. We're gonna want this one too. That's a nice. It has a nice, nice. Construction complete. Well, it's a okay. It's a twenty size, but it also has a uh, minus five habitability and plus five percent growth time. So, eh. and active buildings. What is this? Lepanto. Yep, that sounds about right. Lepanto is just a mess. Just an absolute mess. Now, are we still starving? Yes. Yeah, because people are moving. Uh, you. No. Is there any food we can do? Yeah. Is there any more food? I mean, there is. We should, uh... Oh, wait. We're building food right now. Okay. It's just... It'll, it'll even out. I just need to ignore Lepanto for a little bit. It will be fine. System survey complete. Vulcan. Where is Vulcan? Oh yeah, it's this one. <laughs> Forgot about that. Cassini, you've been a bit of a pal. Why don't you upgrade? Yeah, perfect. Oh, how, where's my Ships colony? Upgraded. Where's my colony? Complete. Colony established. Colony established. Thank you. So good. And now, yeah, we've got this locked up. So we'll put uh, we'll put science down there before too long. Oh, and uh, just because, uh, manage Great White North, manage sector. Yeah, I'll take those. Thank you. Actually. Oh, it's going to cost me influence to remove this. That's okay. Whatever. Just just keep it. Finish. Okay. Are you upgraded? Yes, you are. That's fine. Okay. Great White North. Good work. Now we need a colony ship. Come on, colony ship. Get on out of here. Ugh, Lepanto. Oh, Lepanto. Oh, science ship Schiaparelli has been upgraded. Good stuff. Let's get them. Over. I don't know. Where do we want to research? Hey, Britain. Are you, uh... Still at war? Yeah. Yeah, you are. Okay. So... Schiaparelli, come on out. Go. Hmm. 
Hmm. Come on out here. It's, it's it is a long, long trip for Schiaparelli. Survey that system. Thank you. Yeah, look at that. Construction complete. Okay. What was that? Oh, it's Corfu. Oh, okay. Corfu. You ready for some more stuff? Um, kinda. How's your food? Seven. Seven is fine. There's actually one, two, three. We're actually missing three folks, so I'm not gonna try to, like... How do I say this? Uh, there are three folks who are sort of represented here that aren't actually there, so we could go down as low as two more. Um, let's get some more physics. Go down as low as two more food. More minerals. What is this? Engineering facility. Nice. What is this? More physics? Yes, it is. Mining network. And, oh, this one. Okay, what do we need now? Probably more engineering. Oh, and power plant too. Might as well. Engineering too. There we go. There we go. Might as well make use of this, uh, use of our current, current, uh, high priestess person. Upgraded. Hang on. Complete. What is this? Korean Directorate declared war on Finland. No! Finland? Who are you all at war with? Korean Directorate. Okay, Finland, you are at war with... The Aztec Empire and Korea and the Ottomans. Oh no, Finland! No, Finland! Oh, they're gonna go away. They're just gonna go away. That's too bad. Bye, Finland. It's been nice knowing you. <laughs> oh, the spaceport of Corfu has completed some stuff. I don't know what they just completed, but they completed some stuff. Cassini fleet has been fully upgraded. Yes, Cassini. Cassini, my star. Well, kind of. Your Marco Tribuco Tribuno is kind of a moron. Paranoid. Paranoid. What is that? Paranoid. Jerk off. Survey system. Yep. Okay, we have unemployment, but we don't have um. We do not have starvation. No, not System Verano. survey complete. On uh, Lepanto, what's going on? Okay, so there's no starvation. That's good. That's good. Uh, probably be just because people left. Actually, that that's that's almost certainly the only reason. Uh, planetary administration. Let's upgrade you. That's an expensive go. So let's do it. It does get us a little bit more food, which is always nice. Actually, it's going to get us, I think, three more food between itself and the uh, adjacency bonuses. So, where are you going? Going to, migrating to Tuban. Where's Tuban? First off, A, yeah, okay, sure, where's Tuban? But also, you're xenophobes. Ugh, stupid xenophobes. Um, Lepanto. Lepanto's having so much trouble. Ethics divergence. Yeah. Ethics divergence. Yeah, because he's so unhappy, the ex ethics divergence is massive. He's outraged. He is outraged. Because we have migration, immigration treaties with all kinds of people. We have free migration. He's so pissed off right now. He's, you know, the, the fact that some Russian could be on, in charge of him, he's just pissed off. <laughs> he's... This, this guy's horrible. You're not doing me any good. No, literally, he's not doing me any good. Now, granted, he's um, on a useless tile, but still. Let's actually build a... Let's just build a farm here. Look, you. You may be unemployed. You should at least, like, feed yourself or something. Although... There's lots of food coming down. 
Yeah, no more farms. You... Do I want money? No, we're good on money. Guess we go science. Basic science lab. And clear a blocker. Okay. Colony ship? Yes! Colony ship, let's go. Which one do we want? What did I say? This one? Yeah. Door four. Colonized planet? Where are we gonna stick you? Uh, it's not super ideal, but I think we're gonna have to put it right here. There's food, there's adjacent minerals, and, um, and money. It'll be fine. I think that's what we do. Okay. Science ship, don't be lazy. Uh, go upgrade. And I think that's gonna do it. We, uh, we get a bunch of... We get a bunch of minerals, and then we blow through it, and then we get a bunch more minerals, and then we blow through it, and we have almost too much money. Uh, although we're about to be colonizing the ever-loving crap out of a lot of places, so we're going to start losing money, and that's fine. Also, uh, part, one of the reasons we're getting so much money is because of our current high priestess, so that will go away. That's a temporary thing. So I'm not going to just give away money right now, because we're probably going to be running a deficit soon. Kind of on purpose. Oh, just, just for fun, how's Lido? Yeah, we still don't have the tech to do anything with these guys. <laughs> I feel so bad. <laughs> yeah, we need we need tech. We need more tech. Always more tech. But we will get that hopefully next time. Actually, when is our next tech? Ten months, four months, thirty-four months. Okay, so we will actually have tech. Yeah, no no tech this this uh this episode. That's too bad. But that will have to do it. Um Let's merge you two. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna send these guys over here. Have my fleet go and do some damage over here in Bunda. Ooh, there's a bunch of crystalline entities. Go there. And then we will have you kick some alien tail. See what else we can do. But that will have to do it. Until next time, I enjoyed myself. I hope you enjoyed yourself as well. I do look forward to seeing you next time. The expansion of the Serene Republic has begun. We are going to take over everything. We are just going to take it all. All of it. It may take multiple wars at a time to do it, but that's what we're going to do. We, we do what we must. Anyway, bye folks.